guys, guys, and welcome to today's vlog. It feels so weird to start this off without saying... Now you can say Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year, Happy Belated New Year. We're starting the vlog really late today. It's 3.30. I've just been editing my Christmas vlog. I had literally, I'm not even joking, just for Christmas Day, six hours and 42 minutes of footage. And wow. now I'm down to three hours and 41 minutes, which still sounds like crazy amount, but I've got it down a lot. Halfway through. I know it's going to be going up really late because it probably won't even be done by tomorrow, but it's just going to have to, it's just going to have to go up late. I'm going to have to care less about when vlogs go up. And hopefully you guys will still want to see some stuff. I, in the past, would only post vlogs like if I felt like it was the appropriate time to go up. I posted a couple videos through Vlogmas, like my stocking stuffer hauls, which went up really late and I, in the past, would have not posted them. I didn't get that many views on them, but I'm not that concerned because I feel like I just should try to keep up my posting frequency rather other than being so focused on when a vlog goes up. Oh, also don't mind my hair. We just blow dried it and it's like looking really crazy. I have to take a flatter and go through it. It's looking wild. We're getting ready to go though. I bought Sebastian an iPad for Christmas. I got him the iPad Air because I read that there was not that many differences between the iPad Pro and the iPad Air, but because we both want to use it for more of like a notebook and also for video effects, we're thinking of switching it out for the iPad Pro because yeah. apparently the pen, the new pen, works better for doing that kind of thing. So we're gonna go switch it out. We have to go to Apple. It's the 31st right now, so they're not open very late. They're only open until six. We're gonna do that. We don't have any plans for tonight. December just was so crazy and so busy that we didn't plan anything for New Year's. Every year we say we're gonna do something fun for New Year's, and again, we just like ran out of time to plan something. So we're gonna stay in. We're gonna make fondue, and I've never showed you guys how we make fondue. I love fondue so much. We went to this restaurant called The Melting Pot, which is a chain. It's just like the best place for having fondue. They have all different kinds of options and stuff. We're gonna make a couple recipes out of my Melting Pot cookbook and some recipes that I found online, and I'll show you guys how we do them. They are so good, like next level fondue. I've had other fondues from restaurants, but they're just not as good. I'm excited to show you guys how we do these ones. What time is it now? Fondue what? o'clock. It is fondue o'clock. What's the update? We went to Apple, returned the, the iPad. iPad Air. So we went and returned it. And now we're going to make fondue. Since then, we literally haven't done anything. We took for how long are we nap for? It's supposed to be just 20 minutes and then... Maybe an hour and a half. I think it was an hour and a half. It's this stupid Claritin. It makes me so tired. Me I've been... Yeah. I've been napping almost... Uh, actually, no, every day since I started taking it. Oh, really? I even fell asleep in the car on the way to the movies and my mom was driving us to the movies on the 26th. In the car? Wow, that's new for What's the 26th? Yeah, in the car. Oops. I don't know what it is. It's supposed to be non-drowsy, but it makes me so drowsy. I have had post-nasal drip for the past couple weeks now, so I've been taking Claritin, but it really helps with the post-nasal drip, but it makes me so drowsy. Yeah, but you don't me... have this anymore where you're like- Yeah, coughing you constantly. Yeah. I was <clears throat> coughing constantly. <clears throat> so, fondue. Oh, I also forgot to mention, we're not just making fondue, we're also making raclette. So we're gonna lots have both- food. Yeah, lots of food. It's fun though. It is. So I'm just getting everything ready that I need to prepare, especially when I do the mushrooms. Yep. Clean those. Some of this stuff is going to be dippers and other stuff is going to be actually added into the broth. So we're gonna do two different types of fondue tonight. We're gonna do cheese fondue and a broth fondue. We used to do a chocolate fondue too, but oh, we yeah. realized that at the end, by the time we were done eating the cheese and broth fondue, we would always like overeat. And then by the time we got to the chocolate, we were so full and yeah. kind of regretting our decisions. So now we just do the cheese and broth. But if you guys go to the melting pot ever, I definitely recommend their chocolate fondue. It's so good. Oh yeah, oh it's amazing. And they, they portion everything right. We, we're gonna need this. Yeah, but yeah. it's space too. We portion everything probably a lot more generously than you would if you go to a restaurant. They portion yeah. it like, be mindful of the fact that you're still gonna have another course coming out. But we usually like fill ourselves up on the cheese and the the broth stuff first. The book that I'm using for my broth recipe is this one here. So this is the recipe we're using. It is from this book here. It's called Dip Into Something Different from the Melting Pot. This is the chain I was talking about that does fondue and we absolutely love going there. It's so fun. So this is the Zen cooking style. I'll just like leave this here in case anyone wants to screenshot this or maybe I'll put it up in the description box for you guys in case you guys are interested. It's really easy to put together. They have a bunch of like really easy recipes. Like this one here for instance is just onion, celery, carrot, salt, pepper, and garlic powder with warm water. So it's basically all the things you would have at home anyway. I have all my ingredients out here. These are gonna be dippers. We're going to actually microwave these for a couple minutes so that they're like a little bit soft. A lot of the ingredients we have right now are actually just leftovers. We had fondue with my mom while she was here, so we have a bunch of stuff that we bought for that. 
and these are just leftovers that we're gonna have again. One of the things that we forgot to get that we loved so much was scallops. Scallops are like really, really sweet and they have like a really nice texture. Next time I definitely do that again. It's also nice to do like prawns and stuff like that in there. Tonight we're just doing chicken and veggies in the broth because we didn't plan this one out well enough. We have some potatoes in here. These are baby potatoes and I'm just going to par cook them so that they're not ready so that they don't take too long when we have them in the broth because it's like about four minutes that you keep them in there and four minutes is obviously not enough time to cook them through so i'm going to put the veggies in the microwave right now we what did we do last time two minutes or three minutes for these two i'll do two minutes to start off and see how that goes so we've got that going for the raclette we love zucchini what else oh mushrooms onion is really great we didn't do peppers last time did we no we just did a basic raclette last time because we already had the fondue and so we're gonna do the same thing this time one of my favorite things to have with fondue though the cheese fondue is apple i'm someone who thought i didn't like apple and cheese together i know it's kind of a thing a lot of people love apple and cheese and i didn't think i'd like it but it came out when we had it in the melting pot and i was like let's just try it to be polite and then I ended up loving it. So if you're someone who thinks you don't like apple and cheese, give it a try with fondue. It's so good. It's I even so good. it's so good. I even made my mom try it. And she's like, I don't like sweet and savory together. And I was like, just try it, mom. And she's like, I'm not gonna like it. And then I was like, do you like it? When she tried it, and she's like, it's okay. And I knew she <laughs> loved it. She just didn't want to admit it. So, but yeah, green apple is the best with it. and raclette first the cheese we like to use is actually just raclette cheese but you can use other cheeses too i think this is just like a swiss cheese and it smells really strong but it tastes so good and it melts really nicely this is from trader joe's but you can get this at like save on in canada we usually get it at costco and they have like really big packs for a really great price we have some mushrooms and zucchini for the raclette some onion chopped up for the raclette it's also really nice to have sun-dried tomatoes on your bread with the cheese it's so good so we have some sourdough bread these are the little trays that you put in here and they melt the cheese. So for the fondue, we have a mix of German butter cheese. What's it called again? Butter cheese. It's a mix of that with some Gruyere. For the recipe I'm following, it's actually supposed to be Fontina, but I couldn't find Fontina. It's like surprisingly difficult to find here. I don't know why. And then we added in a half a tablespoon of flour and that just kind of thickens it up once it's in the pot. So then we have one ounce of mozzarella. This is fresh mozzarella. We just chopped up into cubes. We have some grated Parmigiano Reggiano. And then here we have some pesto, some sun-dried tomatoes that are just chopped up really finely some pressed garlic and then for the dippers we have some steamed vegetables we also have some toasted bread for the raclette we also have this roasted garlic and peppers clubhouse seasoning and it's so so yummy we love it on vegetables too but it's so good with the raclette we have some water and we ordered this online this is actually the same set that the melting pot uses when they make their stuff and i thought it was really convenient because you have these little changeable dishes so you can actually just make several rounds of whatever you want and then switch out the dishes. And then when you wanna do your broth or your oil fondue, you just take this liner out and use the actual pot itself. So we have this induction cooktop. I actually use this for filming. So it's just kind of like a nice handy thing to have, but you could also get one of those like little elements and use that instead. The raclette is actually heating up now. So I guess we can put these in here. So I'm gonna turn this on and this magnetic noise is really annoying. I'm sorry about that, but I'm just gonna wait till this gets hot. I'm gonna add the white wine. This is two ounces of white wine. Putting that in there. This is a Pinot Grigio, I think, that we have in here. So we're just brushing the top of this with some oil so that nothing sticks. 
Another thing that we really like to use with the raclette is like buttering the toast with garlic butter is so good. But because we're doing both, we're going a little bit lighter on both of them. We would normally have more dippers for the fondue and we'd normally have more like ingredients for the raclette. Ooh, this is a So now I'm gonna add in a little bit of this garlic, about that much, and stir it in. Let that cook for a minute. And then I'm gonna add in a third of the cheese right now. Whisk that in. Once that melts, I'm gonna add in another third. Mix that in. And then I'm gonna add in the last little bit. Stir that in. And if it gets too thick, I can just add in a little bit more wine. It'll thin it out. I'm going to add in the mozzarella. And you wanna add this in last so that it stays nice and stringy and melty. I'm gonna add in, start with that. Add in a little bit of pesto, a little bit like this, and a little bit of the sundry tomatoes. So this is almost done. Ooh, that looks good. The key is to leave them undisturbed and get really nice brown veggies. So, world's worst lighting, but fondue is finally ready to eat. These are also ready, so we're gonna add some cheese in here now. We've just finished the cheese fondue, and now we're moving on to the broth fondue. So we're gonna start making the broth. Fashion's adding five and a half cups of water into the pot. We're adding in three tablespoons of lemongrass. This is the paste, because we couldn't find the actual like stalks of it. Then we're adding in one tablespoon of chopped ginger. Fortunately, that is fresh. Then we're adding in half of a lime. We're adding in the zest of the lime. The recipe didn't call for this, but we had it, so I figured I might as well. We're adding in one tablespoon of celery. We're also adding in one tablespoon of carrots. We're adding in three tablespoons of chopped onion. Two tablespoons of kosher salt. Then we're adding in two teaspoons of garlic powder. And I'm gonna add in the remainder of the garlic that we had from the cheese fondue. It also calls for one tablespoon of pepper, but I didn't feel like grating one tablespoon of black pepper, so I'm just gonna grate some in here. It's the workout. You're working hard. <laughs> no, I'm not even joking, it actually hurts. Okay, there's that. Then we have to bring this to a boil. Once it's boiling, then you can start cooking your stuff. So for us, this is, one of the Trader Joe's pastas we got, this is like cauliflower and cheese, I think. Asiago cheese and cauliflower or something like that. It was really good. We had it the other night. Some potatoes, they've already been par-cooked. And then we have one chicken breast that we're sharing. These go in for, I think, four minutes each. But you want to be sure that they're at the right temperature. So check the temperature on the first, like, first batch of them. And then use that as your guide. 
For the dips, we have, this one here is mayonnaise, honey mustard, a little bit of maple butter, I think. Last time we used honey. And then some grainy mustard. I'll post the recipes for these ones, but this is like a soy sauce based sauce. And then this one here is more of a hoisin, kind of like sticky sweet sauce. The Asian broth inspired the sauces. It's New Year's. We literally missed the countdown. I can't believe we missed the <laughs> countdown. <laughs> Love you. Love you. <laughs> Cheers. Happy New Year. Cheers. That sucks. My sister missed the countdown too. Resuming dinner. <laughs> so it's New Year's Day now. We, after, what did we do after the countdown? We were really disappointed. We I can't believe we ate. missed it. We took a break. Oh yeah, we took a break and we continued to eat because we yeah. didn't, we hadn't finished our dinner yet. We ate from 11, I think, or 10.30 or 10 so. 10.30 until, until yeah, it was late. Yeah. It took a long time to set that all up. Yeah, but it also, we had two rounds of fondue. Yeah. The cheese fondue, then the broth fondue, and then we did the raclette. And then we watched, um... A movie, a movie, so something went to bed. We started watching, watching you. Oh, we'll yeah, continue we watching you. you. A little uninteresting vlog update. I've basically just spent the entire day on the sofa. We went to bed really late. We went to bed at like four o'clock and then got up at like nine ish. I have not made it out of my pajamas. I've been in my pajamas all day. Oh, I never even showed you guys yet. I was gonna show yeah. the, the camera. I got asked by a few people to do a what I got for Christmas. But because it's been like a week now since Christmas, I'm not gonna do that video. But I will show you guys the main thing I got for Christmas. I still can't even believe I got this for Christmas. I've always wanted to have a full frame camera. It's still hard for me to process it and wrap my mind around it just because I've wanted one for so long. Sebastian got me a full frame camera for Christmas. So he got me the Canon 5D Mark IV, which I'm so, so in love with. We've been using the camera for the past couple days just to like film in the house without any lighting at all. And the footage looks beautiful. This year, I really wanna make an effort to keep this channel alive and even growing if possible, because that would be really nice. I love making videos. I love making content for you guys. So it would be nice if I could actually grow this channel. But one of my main issues with my channel has been that in the previous years, I've dropped off after Christmas. It was never intentional. I don't even know what's cool on YouTube anymore. I know today's vlog was not that exciting because it was basically just our low-key little New Year's Eve together, doing fondue and doing raclette. I will leave all of the recipes I used in the description bar below for you guys. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had a safe and happy New Year and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.